Now, England piled on the runs on day three of the second test. However, the talking point of the day was when MS Dhoni recalled Ian Bell after the batsman was given run out, a decision that former players are calling over generous. Last ball before T on day three of the second test. Ian Bell walks off, assuming the ball was dead. The umpires though had not stopped play. And after a long delay, the umpires rightly ruled that Bell was out. You were definitely within the confines of the rules of the game. You are playing for the number one spot in international cricket. You had consulted your senior players when appealing for the Ian Bell decision. Then why did you have to overturn it? I mean, if you look at the laws of the game and, and you uh, adhere to them strictly, then, then probably he was out. But uh, just in the, in the spirit of the game, uh, it, it didn't feel right. And I think if you're going to go right down to exactly how the rules stand, then yes, I'm out. By his own admission, as Ian Bell suggests, he's not sure if England would have done the same and called back an Indian player if the incident happened with the Indian team. Uh, well, again, it's difficult to say what we would have done, you know, if we were out in the middle. Would we have uh, gone for an out decision straight away? I don't know, probably not. But like I said, we just move on now and learn a lesson. Meanwhile, former cricketers and legends believe that Bell was out by the laws of the game and that Dhoni may have been naive and over-generous. You know, I was asked what I would do in, in that scenario. And I would have said he would have been having a cup of tea in the dressing room. He would have stayed out. If I had anything to do with it, if I was captain, Mr. Bell, you can have a cup of coffee. With the number one spot in world cricket at stake and England playing dirty, the big question that remains is Dhoni and Team India being over generous. With camera person Rakesh Tawla and Borya Majumdar Harani Rana in Trent Bridge for Times Now.